Hey guys, it's Kevin. I have other video showing you using ultrasonic cleaner to clean print ads. I have so many questions, and I have to say, if you're not using it correctly, it's going to damage your print ad. So today we're going to clean a couple print ads. I'm going to talk about what kind of print ads is suitable for ultrasonic cleaning. Ultrasonic is effective when you have a dry ink underneath the nozzle, outside the cartridge, look like this. So ultrasonic is going to clean those accumulated ink and also the nozzle, the nozzle tube. In most occasions, it's pretty safe to clean, uh, for example, HP or Canon cartridges. However, for uh, Epson print ads, it all depends on your skill and your knowledge. So, uh, in general, I don't recommend you clean the uh, Epson cartridges. Uh, IC boards, it's fine, just, just throw it in. Ultrasonic waves going to create uh, bubbles. When the bubble burst, um, it's going to create a micro explosions. So basically, you get a micro explosions, millions, millions of them. Uh, inside the liquid, and uh, therefore uh, the dirt get get knock knock out the surface. Uh, so this is safe for most parts, but not safe not safe for things with membranes, for for example microphone or earphone, and uh, most of not so, most print heads are okay. Uh, for example, HP and Canon, they are bubble jets. Basically, they have two heating elements heat up the, the ink, which creates a bubble and uh, push the ink out. So there's no membrane in there, uh, and you, so you should be okay. But of course, uh, if you do it many, many times, uh, I mean, the, uh, anything going to break. Apps and brother printers, they are piezo jets. And uh, they have a really thin membrane uh, below a pe the piezo material. So when the piezo material get uh, electricity, uh, the whole thing change shape and uh, the squirt out the ink. So you can see it have a really thin membrane that you probably going to damage if you do not do it correctly. So you have a liquid in this part of the print head, it's going to damage the, the film. So we only want to clean this part. Uh, so uh, therefore, we remove the ink from the top, make sure the top is empty, and uh, we open up the nozzle tube. When this part is open, and uh, that uh, we uh, we push the dirt, push them out of the tube. You can see it's complicated. Another thing is uh, when you get this thing empty, and uh, you probably remove the dirt, make the dirt, dirt going up. So it's not a straightforward process, and uh, I don't recommend you do it if you uh, just get into uh, print ad cleaning and let somebody else do it. Uh, another thing is if it's thirty, forty dollar a print ad or a cartridge, go ahead and try it. Uh, if it's uh, like the X5, which is uh, it's about thousand dollar an hour, right? Uh, don't do it. I'm using this one from Amazon, uh, which is like uh, forty dollars, and also they have a coupon. And uh, uh, I'm going to post coupon and the link in the description too. And and also, uh, if you just want to know the ASIN, the ASIN is BO7Q569B68. Um, this is good for like uh, things with irregular shapes or different apertures, uh, such as printhead. Okay, uh, I recommend this uh, CD2020 print, uh, the ultrasonic cleaner, and uh, let's take a look. Uh, if you want to read the user guide? Uh, if you don't, let me read it for you. You can see it's already, it already listed the print has in their uh, suggested applications, and also I think you probably want to use that for your denture. Do not use while ba bathing. I was planning to put this next to my toaster so I can make a fresh toast and uh, clean my cartridge at the same time. And here's the illustration uh, of a cleaning process. And uh, the big unhappy guy in the middle is your clog. Uh, so basically, if you have, uh, for example, a bunch of pigments stuck together, the air bubble is going to burst and break into smaller parts. Uh, you need to put your part inside the basket. 
And this one also including a watch stand, which I, I'm going to clean my Rolex. And ignore this part, I only use tap water. So I think you should at least use uh, distilled water. Do not use tap water. And uh, I suggest use a distilled water mixing with uh, cleaning solutions. It's the same thing here. I said I put a little liquid wash soap, soap to enhance cleaning. And basically the cleaning solution has to uh, create a surface tension which the particles push away, push each other away. So when they break apart, it disperses rather than aggregate somewhere else. Also, if you clean more than three times, you want to give a machine a 10 minutes break. Do not overuse the machine. The cleaner look really well built. And uh, here's the basket and here's the watch stand. I'm going to use uh, BCH cleaning solutions. I'm going to use, uh, I diluted five times. So one part of uh, cleaning solutions and five parts of distilled water. We don't want to soak the whole thing in the uh, cleaning solutions. So we just uh, maybe have a, a quarter of inch uh, above the basket. And uh, now we put a print net on it. Here's how to change the working time. So we select uh, uh, a minute and a half for now. And then we'll click start. And you can see most of clothes are gone. And uh, still the top, there are some uh, left. So we probably need another cycle of cleaning. And here you can see in our lab, we have a commercial ultrasonic cleaning cleaner and can clean like 20, 30 cartridges at a time. Much better. Just a little tiny bit left on the top. You might not always can see the clock. For example, this Canon printer, um, they look okay. But uh, when we put it in the cleaner, uh, you can see uh, only the, the blue comes out, the cyan. When I lift it up, you can see a tiny bit of yellow. And uh, so we have, so we, pr we probably will now have a magenta. I'm going to add a little bit more cleaning solutions. You can see a little bit of black now. The color, the color comes out should be black because if you have equal part of uh, sand, magenta, and yellow, uh, and they mix together, become a black. Here's how to check your result. And uh, yeah, you only get uh, sand, sand and uh, yellow, a tiny bit of uh, magenta. So let's go second round. I usually take out the priming tool, so I prime it, ultrasonic clean it, prime it again, and uh, just so I can uh, keep sucking out the the dirt and clocks. Uh, if you need a priming tool, you can go to bchtechnology.com and uh, and uh, go to accessories, priming click and syringe, and here you can uh, pick up a priming tool. There should be a video on the page that show you how to use the priming tool. Basically, you put the cartridge on the priming clip and uh, just draw the ink from the bottom. And uh, so that so therefore uh, you remove the the particles that you just break apart with, with the ultrasonic cleaner. Let's see the result. And we can see there are a lot more magenta coming out the top part coming out and compare the earlier one so uh, we just keep gonna, gonna keep working on this okay i hope you enjoyed this video visit us www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at greensboro north carolina cheers